Seeking both fortune and an escape from farming, the ambitious Henry plunged into the burgeoning world of industry taking shape in Detroit. The city had become a beacon for young engineers, as steam power had rapidly mechanized production. Eager to reinvent himself, Henry dove headfirst into learning everything about machines. He landed an entry-level job at the Michigan Car Company Works, but his inexperience led to dismissal just six days later. Undeterred, Henry eventually secured an apprenticeship with the James Flower and Brothers machine shop, toiling for a meager $2.60 a week. It wasn't enough to even cover room and board. So leveraging his childhood watch repair mastery, Henry cleaned and fixed tickers six hours a night, six nights a week, for an extra $3 a week. Despite working two grueling jobs, Henry's passion for tinkering never ceased. 